Understanding Stroke A stroke occurs when the blood supply to the brain is blocked or reduced. That can happen because of either a blood clot that breaks off and goes to the brain, or sometimes there's a narrowing in one of the arteries that supplies blood to the brain. In some cases, bleeding in the brain also causes a stroke. But anything where you have interrupted blood supply to the brain can cause a stroke. When a stroke happens, some of the brain tissue dies. How much of the brain tissue depends on how severe the stroke is. Rapidly seeking medical attention is critical. A stroke is sometimes called a brain attack, which, like a heart attack, is always a medical emergency. There are two common types of stroke. One of these types is called hemorrhagic stroke and occurs when a weakened blood vessel ruptures in or near the brain, leaking blood into the brain and causing the brain cells to die. The second, more common type of stroke is called ischemic stroke. It occurs when a blood vessel, an artery carrying blood to the brain, becomes blocked. Without blood supply, brain cells deprived of oxygen and nutrients can start to die within a few minutes. Ischemic strokes can have thrombotic or embolic causes. Thrombotic strokes are caused by a blood clot, medically termed a thrombus, in an artery supplying blood to the brain. Blood clots usually form in arteries affected by atherosclerosis, the buildup of hardened plaques on the inner walls of arteries. If an atherosclerotic plaque is disrupted, a thrombus forms on top of it and blocks the vessel, stopping the flow of blood. In an embolic stroke, a blood clot, called an embolus, forms somewhere else in the body and travels via the bloodstream to the brain. Eventually, the clot reaches an artery small enough to block its passage. It lodges there, obstructing the blood flow and causing a stroke. A stroke is always a medical emergency. That's why it is important to recognize the signs of a stroke and take emergency action as quickly as possible.